Alright, so I'm going to show you guys my coffee collection for today's Vlogmas. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my two tall cups. This one, it's been here for a while. Most of these cups, keep in mind, I have bought at Ross. Most of them. So, first one I have, it says, All I need is coffee and mascara with two hearts and arrows across, across them. And it's written on both sides in gold letters and it's like a light washed out purple it's really nice big enough on the bottom it says 10 strawberry Street which I'm not sure what it means nothing on the inside just plain white it's a little heavy but I mean if you are in the mood for a really big cup of coffee then you got one the next one, it's also from Ross. I have not used this one. It's white and gold. And it's kind of like a little gift thing. You can use it as a gift because it says to and from. It has a little tag on here. Um, on one side it says Libra. And on the other side it says September 23rd through October 22nd. Devoted, patient, and energetic. It describes a Libra, which is me. Which is, that's why I got a Libra cup. Because I'm a Libra. I have been looking for this cup for the longest time. I wanted one that had the symbol Libra and the little drawing and the little, the words and all that. And I found it. And I was like, I need this cup. So third cup we're going to show you guys. It's also white and gold. Also from Ross. And it's just a plain little teacup. It's a plain little cup with a gold heart drawn on there. And this cup kind of reminds me from, it reminds me of the cup from Beauty and the Beast a little bit because it's shaped like it, but it's way bigger than what it is. But it's really cute. And I use this one a lot. This is the one I go to the most. Another white and gold one with black diamonds is this one, also from Ross. It has a pure gold gold handle right here not pure gold but all gold is what I mean and it says hello gorgeous on both sides I hope you guys can see what I'm showing you because then I'm just gonna be talking to myself and here comes another one this is the most recent one I've bought it's from Ross and I really like it because it's really vintagey looking and it's the tag says vintage Paris which I had not noticed and it just has a bunch of drawings that you would see in Paris the little windows cafe the little store the trees are you sure I do this one and it's a tea, it looks kind of like a teacup. Really light to weight, not really heavy. It costed me $4. The tag is still on here because, like I said, it's the newest one. This one is not necessarily mine. I bought this for my friend, Anani. She's here all the time. She's welcome to take it home whenever she wants to. But she decided to keep it here for the time being. It has a little diamond in the middle, inside. And on the out, and it's blue. On the outside, it just has gold words that say, too glam to give a damn, and it has a little diamond in the little corner right over here. And it's just white. It's kind of heavy, but it's a really large cup. Great for dipping cookies or bread or whatever you want. This one is mine, and I got this one in honor of my new cat, Amira, and it's pink handle. As a dipped pink pink handle. The inside is pink. It's wet right now. That's why it's not in the, in the board. On the inside it says you're perfect. A little cat with little hearts. And they're in gold letters. The outside it says you're the cat's meow. 
with a little cat drawing on the little corner in gold letters. And those are the two biggest cups that I own, by the way. Well, the other one is not really mine, but it's still here. So, this one was a gift from one of my friends, one of my best friends, on my birthday, Royal. I talked about this cup in a vlog. And basically, it's a little, there's a little backstory to this cup. I had seen this one at Ross, and I was going to buy it. But, it ended up having a little crack on the edge. So, I was like, why am I going to buy it if I'm going to use it? So, I left it behind, and I was really, really sad about it. But then, Jessica shows up with this cup on my birthday. And I was like, oh my gosh. I saw this cup. I wanted it so bad. But I didn't buy it because it had a crack on the edge. So, I didn't buy it. And I left it behind. And I was so, so sad. And I went back a couple of times to see if there was another one. Maybe a newer one. Or somewhat, you know, that I could find. And I never found another one that wasn't cracked. So, I was just like, oh, it was meant to be. Next two are also from Ross. No surprise there. And it says queen all day with a little crown on top. It's navy blue, which is really, really cute. And on the inside, it says every day right here. So queen all day, every day. So that's why I bought it because I am the queen now. Well, my mom is a queen, but in my house, I'm the queen. And in my mom's house, I'm just a princess. Anyways, that's something really conceited. This is another one that I use all the time, and it's navy blue. It says, drink with me with a little pink heart on top, and the letters are gold. And I also use this one all the time. It's just plain white on the inside. And I use this one all the time also. So that's another one that I use frequently. Oh, I lied about the most recent one. The most recent one is this one. And this is the first cup that I buy at Target. Which, by the way, I am going to go back to look for some more. Because I have some really cute cups there. Um, this one is my first Christmas mug. Christmas cup. Is it mug or cup? I'm going to go with mug. No, I'm going to go with cup. It has a gold handle. It's white. And on the other side, it's Christmassy. And it says Berry Christmas. Because it's a bear and it's Christmas. So it's Berry Christmas. And it just has a bunch of like red leaves and flowers around. And I got it because if you guys know me, I went to Edison High School. And we are the home of the bears, of the golden bears. So I thought it was really cute that it said, Berry Christmas. So this is my Christmas cup. And I keep it out all the time because I like to use it as much as possible for this Christmas season. It says, Paris is always a good idea. Gold letters, heart at the bottom, white drawing of the Eiffel Tower, and it's on both sides sides next this one i bought it at dd's Dee discounts and i forgot how much it was but i honestly i wasn't looking for a cup and i didn't really have a lot of money that day and i wasn't gonna buy anything i was just gonna look to see if there was any comforters for halloween but i ended up buying this cup because i couldn't leave it behind and if you guys shop at Ross a lot, then you guys know that when you see something at Ross, if you don't buy it, you might not find it the next day because it's not a regular store. It's like a discounted store. So they don't get a lot of the same products all the time. And I saw this one at Didi's, and Didi's is the same thing as Ross. It's the same store. It's just a different name. And I was like, if I leave it, I am not going to find it when I go back. It says 80% unicorn. 20% glitter. The bottom has a strip of hot pink glitter with a drawing of a minty unicorn with two silver stars and a pink star and pink hair and silver unicorn horn, whatever. 
And I was like, no, I'm going to go ahead and take this. It was $3.99, so it wasn't that bad. I can't leave it behind because if I leave it behind, I might not find it again. So, no, I'm taking it. Next is my couples cups. And I got this one. These are probably like the first pair of cups that I got when I got married. When I started drinking coffee or moved or something yeah when i moved when i first moved out of my parents place back in 2017 no I'm sorry. back in 20 back in 2013 it's when i moved from my parents house i believe um i bought these and they just say Mr. Right and Mrs. Always Right. And the Mr. Right has a little mustache on top. And the Mrs. Right has a little lipstick on top. And Junior doesn't really drink coffee that much. But when he does, he uses that one. Next three are, and these are my black and white coffee mugs. This one is from Ross. The other two are from Walmart. This one is black and white stripes and it has gold letters that say but first coffee and I had been looking for one that said that for the longest time but I wanted a really cute one because all the ones that I would find they were really simple just said the words and that was it and I wanted something cute and this one reminded me of the Sephora bag these next two I bought at Walmart I bought the first one that I bought was this one and it says Jesus and coffee black handle white cup black on the inside and the letters say Jesus and coffee in gold letters with little leaves around and this one was really cute I really liked it so I bought it at Walmart I believe it was five dollars I think the next one I also saw it at Walmart it said boss lady on both sides and in gold letters and on the inside it says I'm not bossy I am the boss and I don't know if you can kind of see it and then it's just plain black all around that's why I really liked it because it was black you don't see a lot of black coffee mugs it's kind of rare when you see a black coffee mug so I decided to get it Okay, I fixed you guys on the second shelf because I'm going to show you the second shelf of cups. This one I bought it at the 99 cent store and it was a dollar, obviously. It says, Welcome Fall. It's white with a little drawn watercolored pumpkin on it. It says, Welcome Fall in black and it's white. It's simple and the inside is orange. I used it all through fall. It was really... It's really comfortable to use, not too heavy and stuff. I have three of these little tea coffee cups, little ones. They're just white and gold. And they're like the fancy kind of cups, I guess. It's a little set. I have three of those. And then I have three of these, which are much smaller and more like a tea for like tea related. I don't know fancy dinner or fancy breakfast I don't know they're just really cute and I bought them because I thought they would look really nice and I don't think this is gold though I think this is more like a silver thing going on but it's cute and then I got this one it's a bigger version than this one can you see how bigger it is and it's just like that one but it's bigger and it has gold also and it's really really cute and I think I would use this one more than the little ones if I ever do use this one. I have two Christmas cups that I forgot that I had. But these are not, honestly, they're not really mine. My mom gave me these. So that's why I have them. I haven't thrown them away. They're just plain white with a little Christmas tree drawn on there. And a little uh, mistletoe all around the cup. And the other one is a little bit smaller. But it's the same thing. It's a Christmas tree with presents on the bottom it's almost it almost looks like the same drawing but it's not really the same drawing and and this one doesn't have anything around but it has like bread on top and stuff and I have no idea where my mom bought these from but 
they're really cute and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw them away or give them away because they were given to me by my mom. Now I'm gonna show you guys my Disney cup collection. And if you know me, I'm a total Disney dork, I'm a Disney fan, a fanatic. So whenever I see a Disney mug, I write a my automatically want it but sometimes I can't buy them because they're so expensive but this one <clears throat> it's always up for adventure and it's a blue Olaf and Sven mug from Frozen and we have Sven right here and we have Olaf down here and this one I bought it for Junior because it's blue and he's always saying how girly my cups are. So I have that one for him. And then I have this one with Elsa on one side. And Anna on the other one. And there, it's just a plain white cup with purple little swirly things around. Next we have a teacup kind of shaped thing. And it's a Tinkerbell. It looks kind of vintagey. I think it's a little vintagey. Not sure. And then on the other side is her in a close up. And then the inside it says Tink. And there's a little line on there. And I think it's like wanting to crack on me. But I'm just. I take really good care of them. So they should last me a good while. And these Disney mugs, I don't really use them that often. I just have them for a collection because I really love them. And then we have over here, we have Tiana. Well, Tiana's on this side. And then we have our frog prince on this side. And it's just purple, and then they're green, honestly, obviously. And we have that. My two most favorite Disney cups of all time. And I am planning on looking for some more of these because they're so beautiful. And we have Rapunzel. Gold handle, really pretty. It reminds me of her hair, honestly. And then we have Rapunzel over here as well. The only thing I don't like about this mug of Rapunzel is that it has a mother... What's her name again? Mother... I forgot her name. Mother something, right? And basically, she's the evil one of the movie, the witch. The one that takes advantage of Rapunzel. She kidnaps her, you know, if you haven't seen the Rapunzel movie, then you should go watch it because it's really awesome. And here's a close-up of them two, and here is the distant, distant one. And on the inside it just says, Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection. Obviously, it's a collection because I don't think I would use them that much because I don't want to break them. And then the other one, it says the same thing on the inside, designer collection. But this one is of Elsa and Prince Hans. And on the other side, there's a close-up of them also. And I think, this, I think this collection has to do with the hero and the villain. Because it has Rapunzel and Mother something. Mother Thor, Mother something, I don't know. And then this one has Elsa and Hans. And Elsa is a good one and Hans is the evil one. So I think this collection has to do with the hero and the villain. Which is cute because you don't you never see the villain on any merchandise and stuff. Like not a lot anyways. But I really wish it would have had Elsa and Anna on it. And then the other one I wish it had Rapunzel and Flynn. I wish it had Rapunzel and Flynn. It would be a whole lot cuter. So, but that's fine. I'll deal with, you know. I'll be, I'll live. So yeah, I hope you guys liked my collection of coffee cups. I do have, hold on. I do have, oh, here it is. This one is more like a mug, but... It's a travel mug, and it says, Nurses have a healing touch. And it's just blue and white and a little heart. A little nurse's hat right there. And it has it on both sides. And this one is a traveling mug because it has the top. And then I have my other traveling mug that I just bought barely at Starbucks. 
and it's the new one that they came out with this year and I love it because it looks like somebody just drew on it and then I just colored it in with red marker or something and it has a little mermaid goddess right there but it's dirty so I'm not gonna show you the inside but the inside's just white so but this is a small can like travel mug that I have and then I have another Starbucks one, the one that costed a dollar from the fall line. And it has a little mermaid right there. It's plastic. And the last one that I'm going to show you guys is this one. I bought it at a Walmart. It says, which better have my coffee? Y'all know what which is substituting, right? Because it says, which better have my coffee? Substitute the W with another letter and let me know in the comments what you guys think it, it says. I hope you guys enjoyed this coffee cup collection. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see any other kind of collections that I may have. Ooh, I have a movie collection. Like a Disney movie collection and a scary movie collection. Let me know if you guys want to see that one too. I mean, come on, it's something to do, you know. Something else to watch. You guys can get into the more deeper side of me, the side that watches movies, because I I love movies. I watch movies all the time. If you guys want to see the collection of that, then just let me know in the comments down below. And do me a big favor, give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new. We are on to 23 subscribers. I'm trying to get higher than that. So you guys, you guys will be do you guys will be doing me a great favor of sharing this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.